So I'm gonna go ahead and define a constant. So I'm gonna do const and then I'm gonna call it query in uppercase and then set it equal to an object. So open and close curly braces and go in there. So what I want to do is to define just key value pairs inside of the object and then just use that as my queries. So what I'm gonna do is to do select uh, underscore and then we're gonna say patients. So this is gonna be the query to select all the patients in the database and I'm gonna set it equal to the query that I want. So in here, what I'm gonna say is select and then star. So we're gonna select every row in the table from the table name. So patients, oops. And then I want to do order by and use the created date. So we're gonna sort everything according to the date that they were entered. And we want descendant, so the C and then we can limit to maybe like 100 or something. So we're gonna get the first 100 patients in the table. And I need to put a comma here. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then just paste it a few times. So we need one for uh, select patient and then select patient, that's gonna be one patient, and then create a patient, update a patient, and then delete a patient. Let's start working on those. So I'm gonna come here and then delete this S because we're gonna select one patient. So that's also gonna be select star from patient, but this time we're gonna give it an ID because we only want to select one patient. So I'm gonna delete everything after that and then say where ID equals and then a question mark because we're gonna pass the ID dynamically. So let's go ahead and save all that. And I need to put a end of the quotation here and then save. Let's go into the next line and let's go to the beginning. And then the next one is gonna be to create a patient. So I'm gonna delete all this stuff and then I'm gonna do create patient. So create patient and remove that S in the end. And to create a patient, we're gonna use a different query. So I'm gonna delete everything inside of this. And then we're gonna do insert because we're trying to create something or insert something into the table. So insert into, we're gonna pass in the table name. So that's patients. Now we need to pass in the values that we want to uh, put inside of this table. So opening and close parentheses, and then we want to pass in the first name. So we're gonna say first name, last name, email, address. So everything that we put in the table when we are creating it, uh, the diagnose, and we also want the phone and then the image URL. All right, so we got all of this in place. Now we need to pass in the values. So we're gonna say values, and then we're just gonna put question mark for the values because it's gonna be dynamic, and that's what the question marks represent. So we're gonna go in here and do one question mark for the first name, one for the last name, one for the email, one for the address, one for the diagnose, one for the phone, and then the last one for the image URL. And let's make sure we got this right. So I'm gonna go to the beginning of the line and make sure I got everything. So create patient, insert into patients, first name, last name, email, address, diagnosis, phone, image URL, and then the values are first name, last name, email, phone, address, diagnosis, and an image URL. Now let's do the next one. So let's go to the beginning of the line. And this one is the update patient. So I'm gonna delete all this stuff and then do update patients and give them of that S, we don't need that S, so update patient. Only the first one has the S because it's selecting multiple patients. So select patients and then select patient, create patient, update patient. So here again, I'm gonna change everything in here and we want to do update and we're gonna pass in the table name. So we're gonna say patients and then set. So the values that we want to set and then uh, I think I'm gonna copy everything here. So let's go back here. I'm gonna go here and select all this stuff because we're gonna use the same, and then I'm gonna copy it, and then go down here, and then paste. I'm actually gonna undo this, go over here, and then paste, and then remove this. So now, what we need to do is to put question mark for all these values, what they're gonna be equal, because we don't have the values yet, and everything's gonna be added dynamically. So I'm gonna say equal, and then put a question mark, and I'm also gonna copy this, because I don't wanna keep repeating that all the time, so I'm gonna select all of it, I'm gonna copy it, then go over here, and then paste it. And I didn't copy this right, so I'm gonna undo that, go back, and then start at this space, because I need to get this space as well, and then copy all this, and then go here, and then paste it. So now you see that I'm pasting this right, and remove this extra comma, and then I'm gonna do the same here, and then go over to the address, 
and then paste, undo, go to the S and then paste, go over to the next word, make sure I have the cursor on the last letter and then paste, and then go do the same for the font, paste, go to the same for the URL and then paste. And then we need to tell it where we want to make these changes. So we're gonna say where, and then say ID equal again, another question mark. All right, so let's go back to the beginning of the line. Let's make sure we get this right. So I can already see that I have a typo here. So let's go ahead and fix that. So that's supposed to be update. So update patient, and then we're going to use the update patients and then set first name equal question mark, last name, email, diagnosis, the phone, and then the image URL. And then we are specifying where the ID is equal to whatever ID that we're going to pass. So now let's do the delete patient. So I'm going to delete all this. And then we want to do delete, remove that, and then remove that S at the end. I'm going to delete two words, and then I'm going to do delete from patient. So that's going to stay. And then I'm going to remove everything after that. And then say, oops, where ID equal and another question mark, and then closing the string. All right, so I think that should do it. And hopefully you guys are familiar with SQL queries a little bit, and we're really not doing anything fancy here. We're just writing some basic queries. So the first one is selecting all the patients. So we're just saying select star. So select every row in the table, which table that's the patient's table. And we're ordering everything by create a date descending. And then we're getting the first 100. And then for the next one, we're selecting one patient. So select patient instead of patients, as you see in the first query. And we're just saying select star from patients where the ID equal whatever ID that we're going to pass. And the next one is to create a patient. So we're going to say insert into patients. So that's the table. So the first name, last name, email, address, diagnosis, phone, image URL, and then we pass in the values with question marks again. And then on the next line, we're just updating the patient. So we're saying update the table. We're going to set the first name to some value that we're going to give, set the last name to some value, email, address, diagnosis, phone, image URL to some value where the ID equals whatever ID that we're going to pass. And then the last one, we're just deleting the patient. So here we're just saying delete from the table. So delete everything from the table where the ID equals whatever ID that we're going to pass. And that's all we have to do. So now the only thing we have left is to export this like we've been doing. So we're going to say export default and then we're going to pass in the name of the constant. So that's query and then save all that. So that's all we need to do in terms of queries. So you can see how these queries can get really long. And when you use the queries inside of the controller that we're going to be creating soon, it can get really messy because those queries can be really long. So that's why I decided to do it like this. So I just create a constant, which is an object and then put all my queries in it and then export that. And then I can use it in any other file that I need to. So now we can start working on our controller and just import this object and then we can use the queries on it.